Thank you very much, Joe. I'm Eve, your Shogun supporter, joined here by two members of Fnatic, ex Peke and Reckles. Thank you very much and welcome to the table. Now, we're going to start by talking about your guys' performance yesterday versus SK Gaming. Peke, what do you think went wrong? Well, pretty much the decision making and some individual plays as well. I did a couple of mistakes by myself. Uh, and besides that, I think more, more than individual mistakes, I think it came when we all moved together as a team. We had no coordination. Oral calls were bad. When, when we say, let's do this, we do it, but we are super slow. And meanwhile, they take a turret and we get a kill for it. So it's not worth. Normally, when you get a kill, you should get objectives, not the other way around. Yeah. Uh, Reckles, you went 7-2-0 and again. That's a great score. Where did it go wrong from your perspective? Well, Peke was also 6-2 that game. Uh, and with having two carries fed, you should usually win the game. But the main problem was not actually how strong we were individually, rather how we played it as a team. Because no matter how fed you are, if you don't play perfectly as a team and you uh, perform very badly in team fights, it won't matter at all. So it, that was the main problem in that game. All right, so tell me then, how much of that do you think is team synergy and how much of that is related to the picks you guys have been going for? Um. I could say the picks, the picks could be better for sure, but I think if we play like we normally do, a lot better, the picks wouldn't have mattered. The, in other games maybe, but last game at least, the pick was fine, but we just didn't play them right. Like there were some fights we could have done a lot better, but no one really called it, the, no one did the right call, and we just took bad fights. The, the only fight we did on and we were really behind and we won it was on midland when we were like let's use engage we have a good setup for it and it went equal but we were super behind then on top lane uh, again we were 10k behind and we managed to almost win the fight but we should have done that since the beginning be more confident in ourselves and play the setup better and i think also um, the rotations in this game was very bad from our side and caused the fights to be very more like valuable so the fact that we did poorly in the fights uh, and poor rotations kind of snowball the game faster than it would be if our rotations was, was better. Yeah, that's something you guys were doing so well in the beginning of the season, which makes me wonder, is there something specific that changed? It's not like you, you changed a member or anything. So from that Gambit loss on, what changed? Well, the first games, yeah, we did try the, playing the double AP a bit. I think the first games, it was not fully that, but it could... The, the first two games, Gragas and LeBlanc game, I think... No, the Gragas game was because of it, or Seto was not that good. Then the LeBlanc game, it was not the picks, it was mostly the, the decision of camping top lane and not getting anything on LeBlanc. Let's say LeBlanc got one kill, I think it would have been totally fine and people would have said that LeBlanc is OP on top, but she didn't get the kill and it was super bad. Then the games after that, I think we started to make wrong decisions all the time after mid-game, and yeah. That's but uh, also, this problem is not only on Soas, it's on the whole team. So him picking AP is not only on him, it's also our team decision. So there is no uh, flaws in his decision, it's more a team decision. Okay, um, tell me a little bit more about that team synergy and for you, because you were telling before the interview, I have this immense hunger to do good because I've been waiting for this for a year. Is that kind of ruining your plans now that it's not super? Well, I, I can say like for sure I'm more hungry than others, perhaps in the team, because they've been around for a longer time than me, and I actually waited one year to be here. Um, but at the same time, I'm making them more hungry, uh, and I think that's good. Uh, we're mashing good together, and even if we have a four losing streak here, I think we'll come back strong in the end of the split. So you guys have a chance to break that losing streak later versus Millennium. How high are your chances to win that, you think, Pique? I think we have re really, really high chances because we, we have lost so many games that just by random chance we have to win one now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, th I think we are going to do good now. We are really focused on it. We talk a lot about it and I think we are going to think a lot more during the game. In the last games, we were thinking but we were not really making the right choices and now I think we are going to be really careful when we think what we want to do exactly and use our brains. That's what we really need to do. All right, well, good luck in that. Finally, can I get your predictions on the first match of the day here? Alliance, as they take on the super hot crew. Reckles. Uh, I'm calling it for Alliance. They had a really good showing yesterday uh, against Rocket. And I believe if they keep on going on that line, they can be a stronger team in the end as well. There you go. I think super hot crew can do something good. They, they did really good versus Gambit, and they impressed me how, how they play. I think Gambit didn't think they would be that tough, and they play pretty much like any other top team. So I think even super hot crew has a chance. All right, thank you guys very much, and of course, good luck later versus...